Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way. And I am Deb, and you're in my sewing room and what I consider my, or call my sub pantry room. I am back here today to work on my project. Remember this from material? Well, this is about the biggest hunk of the material that I have left. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I started the project that I'm gonna work on today and that is making the pillow covers using this material. And because I had to fussy cut to get a certain design on the pillows that I was looking for, it used up all of the material, actually. But that's okay, that's all right, that's what it was for. And I will be happy for the results, I'm sure. So I'm anxious to get started working on this project. It's one of a few that I've got lined up to work on besides the Pioneer Sampler Quilt. I'm still working on that one. Pretty soon I have to work on the October block and that one looks a little bit challenging. More challenging than anything <laughs> so far so I'm kind of waiting on that one. You know I'm uh, okay I'm procrastinating. I'll face it. That's it. But anyway this project today looks like it it's pretty easy going you know so we'll see. Let me get it started with you. So let's take a look at the cutting table over here and see what I've got planned to do today, okay? So let's get our working clothes on and working gear. Where are my glasses? <laughs> Sitting right in front of the machine. Got our glasses ready to go. Come on over with me. I've cut the fabric necessary for the pillow here, for all the pillows, even this uh, rectangular shaped one. So I'm going to set this one aside. There's two pieces of material here that I'm going to make two rectangular shaped pillow covers as well. But for right now, I'm going to be working on this one, my square pillow. So I've cut the material. I think I've trimmed up enough from the sides here, okay, and I'm just going to fold this over a little bit on each end, just tuck it in. So I'm going to go over to the machine and do that. I'll show you on this other side. That's what I'm aiming for, for the main pillow form on, on both of them. But let me get to sewing the uh, tucked in edges here on, on the cover first. This is the first project that I've used my new machine to sew on. <laughs> so it's Maiden Voyage. Let me get the pillowcase here. First of all, I'm going to sew just a, a small hem here on each end of the material that will keep it from unraveling. Okay, I need to go a little faster. And I can adjust the speed with this little knob right here. All right, so what this does is just provide me a nice smooth edge to tuck under and then the seam won't unravel that easily. If I left it raw and just tucked it under, you know, like this, eventually I'd have um, threads loosening up and it would be coming apart. So now I'm going to just do a little bit of a seam. I'm going to do a little bit of a seam then all the way down. And where's my hem gauge? Let's see here. What do I want to make it? We will do It doesn't have to be exact. I just I measure <laughs> you know, it's about an inch and a half here. 
That's where I'm going to do my seam. Got my first side all hemmed up, ready to go. Let me do the other side. And I've just finished the second side, so now I'm going to do the side seams. We're over at the cutting table now. I've hemmed both sides of the fabric. I'm centering. I, I want this, this little pattern piece in the center of my pillow, so I'm trying to center that. And then I'm going to bring up both edges. That's how I want it to be. Next I'm going to be working on the side seams, but I need to slide the pillow out of here to do that. Once you have it all folded into the pillow form, slide it out. Set that aside, and now I'll be evening this up and sewing one edge of it. Well, actually both edges, but it's together the way that I want it. Okay, so let me take you back over to the machine. All right, back at the machine here, I'm just going to put like a quarter of an inch seam on here and I'll strengthen that seam by doing a straight stitch first and then a zigzag stitch over that. So let me get going here. And you can, I'm going to neaten up this hem just a little bit. But not cutting into the zigzag stitch at all. That's really all, all I'm going to cut off of this. Okay, and let me do the other side. to switch this back to a straight stitch. There we go. And I'll neaten this up a little bit here. You don't need all this excess material. in there so it's gone now okay let me take you back to the table and show you how I'm going to put the pillow inside here first of all I'm going to turn it inside out <laughs> I, I know you knew that didn't you you knew that already and do your points out You can either poke the points out with your finger or use um, a blunt tool. They do make actual sewing tools that are point turners. I don't have one though. My finger works pretty good. Okay. There is the finished pillow cover. Let me put the pillow in it. Okay, pillow, pillowcase, or pillow cover, whatever. And it should envelop, you know, just put it in there like it's, you're tucking it in. Tuck it in on one side first, and then Bring the other side out and tuck it all in there the best you can. It will go. And then neaten it up a bit. And 
And there you have your pillow cover. I'm pleased with it. So I'm going to go make another one of these and two more little rectangle ones. And um, I'll bring it back when I work on the rectangle ones, okay? But I like it. Yes, I do. So, not bad at all. Let me go work on the others. This is the rectangle pillow I'm going to be covering. So, let's get working on that. Okay, and first of all, like on both ends of the material, I'll tuck it under about a quarter of an inch and then about another inch or so. You can, depending on the, how much material you're using, you can make your hem bigger even. I mean, it can be quite large, even like that. I didn't have that much material left, so, because I had to fussy cut a lot. So I'm using like one inch, one and a half inch seams. So let me sew this under just a quarter of an inch. Come on. Yeah. Do a straight stitch down this side. First side is done. Let me do the other. Okay, got both ends done. Let's go over to the cutting table with the pillow form and get it fitted. Okay, you just lay it flat here. And I'm going to be doing the sides. Okay, so try and put this in the middle pretty much. Let's see her. Yeah, that's about right. And fold it over again on the pillow. These are going to be my side seams. I'm going to slide the pillow out of here. Let me see if I can hold this together pretty much. And slide it out. And take it over the machine and sew it together. I'm just going to put like a quarter of an inch seam on here. And I'll strengthen that seam by doing a straight stitch first and then a zigzag stitch over that. Let me get going here. There's my pillow. I get one. It's not a sham, really, is it? It's my pillow cover. Okay. Let me put it right sides out. Looks a mess, doesn't it? I mean, it's just a wad. Not for long. And you poke your corners out again the best way that you can. Whatever you use to poke the corners out, if you need to use a tool of any kind, don't use a real pointy or sharp end or you're going to poke a hole in your material. Uh, yeah, I speak from experience. Years ago. Not, not recent. <laughs> I learned. And really, your, your finger works pretty good here, too. The 
there's my rectangle shaped pillow the front of it. Let's go tuck in the pillow. Okay, so I showed you my square pillow and now I'm going to do the rectangle pillow and then I'm going to make the other matching pair because I'm going to put all four of these on my on my sofa. So you just tuck in one end the best way you can and these are new pillows so yes they're not real hard to work with but they're they're uh it's workable you just do your best and slide it in there the best you can okay i'm getting there and i think that's probably yeah that's good and then you pull up the other side and tuck the pillow into that side. What I like about these pillowcase covers, or this pillow cover, is that, for one thing, yes, I love the material. I'm trying to even this out in here. There we go. What I like about these pillow covers is that it's easy to get the pillow out of here for washing the cover when you need to. I mean, you know, you can wash it as much as you want to, but anyway, and recover them as much as, you know, as many times as you want to, too. I'm going to push this down in a little bit better. There we go. There we go. There. another pillow cover made. So I'm going to go finish the other two and I'll bring it back when I'm all done and put everything in place on the sofa. Okay? But so far I am very pleased with the pillow covers. Very much. It's easy to do. Directions are real simple, real basic. So anyway, let me get finished with the rest of them. Pillow coverings are all done and on the sofa for right now, just for this picture. I'll be spreading them out. But I'm really pleased with the way they turned out. Thank you so much to the Happy Camper, whose link I will put below, who gave me the idea to do this. She showed it on her channel just recently. Go over and check her out. Okay, I hope you all are having a good one out there. You take care. I'll be talking to you again real soon. Bye for this time, though.